Opinion. Darius Gifts to Medical Workers Raise Thorny Ethical Issues. NBCnews.com. U.S. World. Politics. Business. Tech. Science. Health. Investigations. Entertainment. Sports. Travel. Nightly News. Meet the Press. Dateline. Today. MSNBC. NBCnews.com. MSN. NBC News. Health. Follow us. Facebook. Twitter. RSS. Show MB. Healthcare. Diet and fitness. Alzheimer's. Body odd. Women's health. Men's health. Kids health. Aging. Allergies. Cold and flu. Cancer. Diabetes. Heart health. Mental health. Sexual health. Healthcare. Opinion. There are gifts to medical workers raise thorny ethical issues DUI high in cars. More high school seniors hit the road after smoking pot health news FDA panel backs drug for early stage breast cancer abuse child abuse down but neglect is up. Report finds parents biggest threat health care applying for health insurance. Expect homework estrogen men need female hormone for sex drive. Fat control. Study fungal. Deadly fungal disease detected outside the Pacific Northwest Today Health Vegas Mom gives birth to Quintuplets Health San Francisco sues Nevada over patient dumping diet and nutrition. Drop the cookies, sweet, starchy foods probably cause women's cancer health prescription painkillers to get tougher warning labels health news. U.S. cancer care in crisis. Experts say Health FDA receives 89 reports of illness from yogurt health news. New Medicaid patients may be younger than states feared study finds obesity. Severely obese. 5% of U.S. kids, teens fit risky new category health aw. Nuts. Nurturing dads have smaller testicles. Study shows smoking. Graphic anti-smoking ads helped 100,000 kick the habit for good. CDC says health insurance groups race to hire. Train Obama Care Guides Mammogram. New salvo in mammogram wars says young women should be screened smoking. E-cigarettes as good as patches in helping smokers quit. Advertise. Advertise. Healthcare. Opinion. There are gifts to medical workers raise thorny ethical issues. Art Kaplan. Ph.D. NBC News contributor. Facebook share on Facebook. Twitter. Lincoln. Google Eclipse. Female. September 11, 2013 at 5.09 a.m. at Bill Dedman. From the book Empty Mansions. In 20 years at Beth Israel Medical Center and a related hospital, Hugh Tech Clark was wooed repeatedly for donations. The new book about the eccentric heiress raises questions about the ethics of gift giving and donations among patients and healthcare providers. For an appreciative patient, giving gifts to a competent, caring doctor or nurse may seem only natural. But should health workers accept such tokens from patients for whom they provide care? And what if Edith Euro's trademark is more, much more? than a token? Should doctors, nurses and others ever encourage patients to name them as beneficiaries in a will? These ethical issues arose in a big way in the care of Hugh Tech Clark, who inherited the titanic fortune from her father, one-term U.S. Senator W.A. Clark. Her dad made money on P.A.R. with the Rockefellers, Morgans, Vanderbilts and Carnegies in mining copper and other metals throughout the American West at the turn of the 20th century. And the questions loom large for readers of a new book about Clark, the reclusive Aries who was worth about $300 million at the time of her death in 2011 at age 104. Released this week, the new page turner is Iero's Empty Mansions, The Mysterious Life of Hugh Tech Clark and the Spending of a Great American Fortune by Iero's by NBC News investigative reporter Bill Dedman and Paul Clark Newell, Jr., a cousin to the heiress. Hugh Tech Clark owned fabulous properties in New York City. New Canaan, Comp, and Santa Barbara, California. And she had not set foot in any of them for decades. Starting in 1991 at age 85, after some successful surgery, she chose, despite excellent health, to live in a relatively small room at a small, little-known hospital overlooking Gracie Mansion, the mayor of New York at Euro's trademark S official residence in Upper Manhattan. When she entered Doctors Hospital, later to become Beth Israel Medical Center, she had an even bigger fortune. She chose to give a good deal of it away to some of her caregivers, their children, institutions she cared 